Okay, guys. I'm here with a video that I honestly don't want to be talking about and don't really want to do, but I feel that I kind of need to. Um, because it's something that's put a lot of things into perspective. <laughs> um, of course, we all know that yesterday we, the wrestling world and the pro wrestling community, lost Bray Wyatt at the age of 36. For a bit of context, I am almost, I am three weeks away from turning 40. So, combine that with Jay Briscoe from back in January, who died at the age of 39 in a car crash. And you get very perspective, you get very introspective about certain things in your life. And it's been a very hard thing for me to think about and just the fact that we lost one of the most innovative minds in professional wrestling yesterday and one of the pioneers of the hardcore wrestling style just the day before that and Terry Funk and at least Terry Funk you know you probably would have expected because Terry Funk was 79 years old now yeah this shows how short life is and how you shouldn't take any of it for granted. <laughs> Feels very weird talking about Bray Wyatt in a past tense, especially since just a month ago, he was, especially just a week ago, you know, about what, 10 days ago, there were all these reports that he was gearing up for an in-ring return probably in September, which would have been about one year since he actually came back to the WWE. And then... And then gone in the blink of an eye. Life is very, very short. And... Of course, my thoughts are with his family, the Rotunda family, his father, of course, Mike Rotunda, IRS. His uncles, of course, his uncles are Barry and Kendall Windham. Barry Windham is, of course, in the WWE Hall of Fame. Kendall Windham, Kendall Windham is a former WWE Tag Team Champion with Barry Windham. Then there's his brother, Bo Dallas, and his sister, Mika. And, of course, you know, JoJo and his four kids. It's a very tragic time for them. And I think we all should just respect privacy. And... Also putting things in perspective, especially when it came out, what caused this. Please don't, like, now we know a lot of things about that. About, you know, that Bray had COVID earlier in the year. And then that exasperated a heart condition. And then he, and that led to a heart attack yesterday. Please do not be some kind of, don't get, don't be in, don't be a jerk down here in the comment section, please. Be very polite and respectful to anyone who is in there if you do comment on this video. So, you know. The best Bray Wyatt match I think he ever had was the Royal Rumble 2014 against Daniel Bryan. Did the WWE botch The Fiend originally? Yes, they did, but that's not what's important right now. That's far from the most important thing in the world right now. We as a pro wrestling community need to stop just coming together when wrestlers die. You know? But it's the way we are as a society sometimes. But, yeah. A guy 36 years old just did in a blink of an eye four kids without a father and two of them are ages four and three uh, I really don't like doing videos like this because I don't like talking about dark and grim subjects I like to try to be positive and not make people and try to take people's mind off everything that goes on in the world but I thought I had to make this video on my own peace of mind. So, that's it. 
If you liked this video, like button is down there, subscribe button is down there, and thank you for watching. Bye.